Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Game Insight, man. For his 20-something to 36, we're going to New Hampshire today. It has been quite some time since I last actually recorded anything from anything new. Um, as you see, got the Yeti microphone here. Um, it's still in the way a little bit, but I'm going to try to get uh, get a little bit better, so maybe it's not in the view. Um, that doesn't also help that the camera's like viewfinder here is like much like wider, because my old one was a little bit more closer, so... I think even with, uh, if it was like with the old one, you might just see like a little bit of the top of this, but here you see a little bit more, so not a whole lot I can do in that regards, but this will do for now, at least I can make some videos, so um, we're going to go into season standings here, uh, we have a very big point, so you have a 30 point, uh, 30 points lead over Kyle Busch, last race was at Chicagoland, that was our first race of the chase, now we're going to New Hampshire, very depressed, my worst track on the schedule, so I'm probably going to get like 25th to 30th, so... Uh, like a band-aid, let's, let's pull this off real quickly and get this thing over with, so let's get into it. Here we are around the weekend settings, champion difficulty 15 last one times where caution black flags on, damage full, same format as always, we're going to set the changes, then we're going to skip in the qualification and put our ball in our 1222 setup and all that, so let's do that real quick. We're on the apply setup menu, 1222s, normally it's 12 on the left, 22 on the right, nothing too surprising there, that's what we're doing, so we're going to set the changes there. Also, the brake bias is already automatically lower because I already did that, so uh, it's at 50 or whatever. So let's begin qualifying, do our outlap, and see where we start in the race because I'm assuming we're going to get 30th. Off of turn four now, the lap time in the first lap wasn't too well. The second lap should be a little bit better. 30th. <laughs> okay, so we get exactly where we uh, I thought we were going to qualify. 30th, 30th place. I just I think I saw Tony Stewart on the pole, which is good for him because he had a terrible race. Yeah, he's starting first, Junior second, Kenza third, Biffle six. So it looks like the people in the back in the chase seem to do pretty well, so... We'll see what we can do. I'm not expecting to win, obviously, but maybe if I can scrap a top 25, that should be pretty good. So we'll see what we can do. So let's continue, get into the main race, and uh, see what we do. Here we are. The race is about to begin. You see the pace car heading down pit road. We're starting 30th on the outside line. Obviously not the preferred lane. I really want to be right away at the start of the race. We're already losing spots. Get ready and go. Green flags out. We are underway here in New Hampshire for 15 laps and... Oh boy, I'm going to try my best to stay out of trouble. No guarantees or promises for that, obviously, but I'm going to try to get to the inside right away. We do just that. We barely clear castle. And now we're in 32nd, so now we're just going to try to be on the inside line here and try to gain spots one position at a time. Really, like, it, it's frustrating because I'm not really driving the track all too horribly. It's just the AIs are just extremely, really well programmed. Like, they're really, really fast, so... It's not really, I mean, whenever I do get here, it is frustrating because there's really not a whole lot I can do, but it does seem like I'm gaining some spots early on, but I don't know how long that'll last for. We're already up in the P28. We're side by side with Montoya and Bernard, really nothing. We're going to three, diving in a little bit deep. We're going to stay on the inside line here, try to get next to Regan Smith, make some slight contact with him, but it wasn't a whole lot to really affect him at all. And now we're getting into 26. We're going to try to catch Jeff Byrne here. We really got to gain as much spots as possible early on in the race, considering how the tire fall off is. We got in the bird and we're sliding sideways. And that was surprisingly better than I thought. Or no, no, wait, no, we're still sideways. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we saved it, somehow. Let's try not to dive bomb it in there as much. Burden kind of braked a little bit early. We're going to go in the corner, slide up. He won't be able to do the crossover. And we get through the corner fairly well, even though we drifted a little bit off that corner. Now we're in 25th. I think we can catch Reagan. I think, I definitely think a top 25 is possible. I think in the spring race here, I got in 25th, I think. Oh my god, the banking difference. Oh my goodness. And somehow, I did not lose any ground from Burton. And I lost a lot from Reagan, obviously, but surprise Burton didn't catch me, even though I got sideways there. It was really weird. I really can't get anywhere near that uh, that banking, because there's a dip there, and or now I am. I'm riding, I'm riding the high line. A fine line between uh, the banking and the track. I don't know, but we caught up to David Reagan yet again. I'm gonna try to really execute 
or try to get by him on the outside. I was gonna say, you know, try to wait till we get off the corner and then make the move, but um, that didn't work. That didn't work as I thought. So that's a shame. That makes me a little bit upset. So we're gonna try to go into three yet again. He does break a little bit earlier, so we're gonna try to have the preferred lane here on the inside. Try not to go off the banking, and the car just can't really. It just doesn't have grip. So oh, wait, wait, never mind. Wait. Oh, well, now we're side by side with him. <laughs> try and get by him for 24th. We're gonna go into one. I normally break at the one, like, marker or whatever that's there, and it seems to always work the best, so that's what I've been trying to do. And we dicked, I dicked, <laughs> we dipped a little bit down low, we got through there just fine. I'm, too much stuff's going on, I can't even, can't even I explain it. But now we're in 24th, uh, Ryan, 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 jeez, Trevor Baines right up ahead of us, Tony Stewart is leading, he is pulling away, so he might end up winning this race as long as there's no caution that comes out. We're going to dive it down in the one, down, go below the apron there, and we slide up the track, and we hang on to the spot we're in for now. Can we get by him for 23rd? I, th I think it's quite possible, because it seems like the AIs really slow up a lot going into three, so that's really like the only time we have a shot to getting by them, so kind of dived it in there yet again, respectfully, because we didn't make it in any contact with them, so that's a big plus. Now we're still right behind them. Very interesting race. I thought it would be really boring at this point because I did one practice run before I did this uh, this uh, season mode. And around this point in time when I was uh, practicing, well, you know, when I was practicing, nothing was going on. I was just all by myself. But this is not quite the case this time around. I'm pleasantly surprised with that. We're going to throw the car into three yet again. Can we try to get by Ryan Blaney? Ryan Blaney, Trevor Bain. I keep tre right, well, I mean, I'm not wrong because Ryan Blaney did end up being in that car in like 20. 15 actually then full-time in 2016 but yeah it's Trevor Bain I'm getting my my games confused or my years confused I should say yeah I remember when I was saying that um at this specific amount of time I was just all by myself and yeah that's this is exactly what's happening now it just happened a little bit later on in the race but yeah I'm about five tenths uh, behind Ryan Blaney and about eight tenths ahead of Reagan so I mean I'm literally stuck in limbo I'm just kind of stuck in my own like little zone here Boy, flex out one more lap around the track here at New Hampshire. Uh, did look like uh, Jeff Byrne did get by David Reagan for 25th, but that's really the only position I, I've seen on the track that's actually changed. The tires and everything are just falling apart. I, I'm losing more ground on Bane. Byrne's actually catching me just a little bit. Um, just just a product of the tire fall off and the AI's not really having any. Just kind of hinders us quite a bit. Tony Stark does win. He actually pulled away from the field quite a bit, led every lap, obviously, so... His championship posts have still being alive as I get 24th. Um, pretty, I mean, that's really as best of a race I really could have done. I mean, I don't think I could have done much better. Um, didn't hit the wall once or anything, so that was good. So let's look at the results here and see, because uh, the points should be shaken up now quite a bit considering Stuart won. Biffle did get fifth. I remember he was in the chase, but like 11th or 12th. So it's going to be interesting to see where the points shake up. So there's the overall, uh, actually, I should see the rest of them because... Isn't there somebody else that was way back here? I guess not. I might be imagining things. I think I might be imagining things. Uh, ch -ch -ch okay, Gordon. All right. So there you go. There's the rest. There's the whole entire field, literally. So let's continue and uh, check out the points and see where everything stacks up after race two of ten in the chase. I still have the points lead by eleven points over Jimmy Johnson. I did lose quite a bit. Uh, Stewart, who was twelfth in points, the last guy in the chase. Um. Gained five spots, so now he's technically in the hunt. He's only 25 points behind me. So this is going to be interesting. The points definitely did shake up quite a bit. It's now much tighter than what it was before. And because of that race in New Hampshire, that was my first top 10, outside top 10 finish since the last New Hampshire race. So that's pretty crazy. And there was one other race I must have not, I must have not gotten uh, outside top 10. I don't, I'm not making any, must have not in that. I make up my own words, so anyways, um, that's the points how they shake up again It did drop me back quite a bit. So now I got to step on my game so It's gonna be interesting to see where the points will sh uh, shake up next race and also Next race is Dover and I do pretty well at Dover on this game. The guys are absolutely abysmal So that kind of helps into the equation of me being good <laughs> but um yeah, they have really bad tendency of breaking in turn three, so that'll make the race very, uh, very interesting. So I think we have a shot to win there and gain a pretty good points lead, and then maybe Talladega, I, that's unpredictable. I don't know how I'll do so. I really just want to get a cushion because once New Hampshire comes, we're going to be in big trouble because we don't do well there. 
on this track on this game for whatever reason so we need to have at least like a 25 30 point cushion i'm not even kidding like we need a huge cushion of point leads so that's really it thank you for watching like i always say i do appreciate the love feedback and support all you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run thank you for watching i'll see you all next race at dover and as always have a good day everyone